watch the coverage. You know what I'm I watching say? Watching a lot of the coverage. Well, a lot of it's These fake news. Doctors, are, no, no, a lot of it's fake news. A lot of it's fake news. Let me just when the doctors the, and the medical the governors, come on our air, the governors say reported. That we don't have enough tests. We don't have enough. The governor, yeah, depending on your air, they always say that because otherwise you're not going to put them on. Let me just tell you something. Yeah. Governor, Mr. President, we hear from a lot of people who see these briefings as sort of happy talk briefings. And no happy talk today. You and, and some of the officials paint a rosy picture of what is happening around the country. Uh, if you look at some of these questions, do we have enough masks? No. Do we have enough tests? No. Do we have enough PPE? No. Why would you say no? Do we have I enough medical equipment? The answer is equipment? yes. I think the answer is yes. Who, who said no to that? I, I, I'm saying this no, is No, no, you're saying no. But who we said hear, no? We but you asked from, me, do we have enough masks? Yes. We hear from yes. doctors. We hear from No, no, you didn't experts. say that. You said, do we have enough masks? Does the country? Yes. Does do we have enough tests? Yes. Plus, we're developing new tests. Do we have enough? Do we have enough ventilators? Yes. Do we have enough hospital beds? Yes. We've built twenty thousand hospital beds. We have enough hospital beds. Go ahead, Jim. Let's go. Well, what do you say to? I mean, you watch the coverage. You know what I'm watching saying? a lot of the coverage. Well, a lot of it's fake news. No, no, a lot of it's fake news. A lot of it's fake news. Let me just when the doctors. The, and the medical the governors, come on our air the and governors say that reported, we don't have enough tests, we don't have enough The governor, masks. yeah, depending on your air, they always say that, because otherwise you're not going to put them on. Let me just tell you something. The governors have said last night, they had a group of governors, 14 governors, they were together someplace, and they said, it's been unbelievable what's happened. We've been totally responsive. Ventilators. Everyone has the ventilators they need to a point where we're getting calls from foreign countries saying, you have all the ventilators, can we get some? Can, and we're going to try and help some of these countries. These people have done an incredible job. This is not happy talk. Maybe it's happy talk for you. It's not happy talk for me. We're talking about death. We're talking about the greatest economy in the world. One day I have to close it off. And we did the right thing because maybe it would have been two million people died instead of whatever that final number will be, which could be 60, could be 70, could be 75, could be 55. Thousands of people have died. There's nothing happy about it, Jim. This is sad talk. This is the saddest, these are the saddest, these are the saddest news conferences that I've ever had. I don't like doing them. You know why? Because I'm talking about death. I'm talking about taking the greatest economy ever created. We had the greatest numbers we've ever had in almost every aspect of, of economics, from employment to companies. To, look at the airlines. They were having the best year. Now, all of a sudden, we have to save them, okay? There's no happy talk, Jim. This is the real deal. And I've got to make the biggest decision of my life. And I've only started thinking about that. I mean, you know, I've made a lot of big decisions of my life. You understand that. This is by far the biggest decision of my life because I have to say, okay, let's go. This well, is what we're going to do. When you have hospital administrators. Sure. But you have many doctors that say unbelievable job. I watched this morning and I watched a certain network and it wasn't Fox. And you had doctors saying that we've done an incredible job. You just read off these no, no, no. Well, we have ventilators, we have equipment, we have beds. How about beds? I mean, Governor Cuomo just told me a little while ago he's got plenty of beds. In fact, they're having a hard time filling Javits Center. We built them 2,900 beds. So that's not a fair well, when question. You're, when you're sanitizing Jim, look, I, Jim, masks Jim, and you're talking about reusing Jim, PPE, obviously no, no, you don't have enough. No, excuse of me. We have masks. We have everything. And we were trying to get ready for the surge. And a lot of people said it will never happen. Deborah said it. You'll never need that many beds. They said we needed 40,000 ventilators. 40,000. It's like building a car. 40,000 ventilators. People said, I felt it too. You'll never need that many. Guess what? We have tremendous, we have, we're the envy of the world in terms of ventilators. Germany would like some. Uh, France would like some. We're going to help countries out. Uh, Spain needs them desperately. Italy needs them desperately. Mexico needs them desperately. He asked me last night, would it be possible to get 10,000 ventilators? Within a short period of time, I'll be able to help out Mexico. No, Jim, just the opposite of your question. It's not no, no, no. It's yes, yes, yes. We're in great shape. And you know what? What's happening now is those numbers are horrible. But take a look at the number of beds. We have beds available all over New York. New York really being the epicenter. New York, New York has experienced something that has been absolutely horrific. 
I saw Hearts Island yesterday. I saw those people being buried yesterday. Fortunately, we have the beds, and you can speak to Mayor de Blasio, you can speak to Governor Cuomo. People are — people can't even believe the job we've done. They can't even believe it. And I give tremendous credit to the military. This has been a military operation with private people. But wait a minute. Wait, wait. I give tremendous credit to our military, to the Army Corps of Engineers, to FEMA, to these people. The job they've done is incredible. And you, you shouldn't be asking that, that kind of a question, Jim, honestly. The country been better okay, look, I, I really don't believe you're that bad again. You shouldn't be asking that kind of a question. You should say, you know what? It's been really That's incredible the what's been That's happening. Jim, nobody's asking. You, what governor — let me ask you this. That's what governor — we have more tests than anybody in the world. We have That's every right — we now. have virtually every country in the world calling us, asking us, how do we get these tests that you have? Your testing is the best in the world. How do we get it? They've done a fantastic job. And when you ask a question like that, it's very insulting to a lot of great people. Okay, one more, please. Uh, please, go ahead. Thank you.